it's a typical perfume that you can use for layering like it's a perfume that you can use to layer on thicker deeper scents if you layer this it pretty much goes well with almost anything i know as a perfume enthusiast, as a frag head, you need to have perfumes like this that you can just, you know, spray on top to make all your perfume combinations, you know. What's up, you guys? This is your wing lady. And I'm back today with another banging video. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you doing? I sure hope you're doing well because I'm doing good. <laughs> Guys, if this is your first time of seeing me, hi, hello, please subscribe to my channel. Get me to 1000 subscribers. <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning to watch another video. Without further ado, we're getting right into today's video. And today we're going to be reviewing Violet Sapphire by Fragrance World. This is apparently a dupe for Bodicea the Victorious Violet Sapphire. It comes in this luxurious box, this sort of velvety feeling kind of box from Fragrance World City logo. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let us see how this smells. Yeah, we're interested in the juice, not the box. It comes in a really, really nice box. I mean, I mean a bottle. It comes in a really nice, nice bottle. Are you ready? Ah! <laughs> hey guys, it comes with this cute purple bottle. And if you know me, you know by now that my favorite, absolute favorite color is purple. So this is right up my alley. So it comes in this nice bottle. What? Look at the cap. Some sort of embossment, in the embellishment so classy now how does violet sapphire by fragrance world smell Ooh, sprays really nicely mm, super sweet mm, it has that burst of alcohol that kind of stings your nose in the initial spray so you might want to just come down a little before attacking your nose with this Okay, this is a fruity, floral, musky, ambery perfume. Okay, uh, the top notes, what you get is an overwhelmingly sweet amount of fruitiness. It is super sweet right off the top. I, I think from the notes, it has about three different kinds of fruit. Mm. Mm. Super sweet. It has some berries in here, maybe passion fruits, maybe peaches. I'm not quite sure, but it has such, such fruity notes at the top. Like when you spray it, the fruity notes are what you get. They just burst right through your nose. But then when it comes down a little, you start to catch the florals. You get some roses in here. You get some jasmine in here. Then when it has settled on your skin, yeah, you begin to cash. Mm-hmm. Musk and amber. Musk and amber, yeah. So right off the top, when you spray um, violet sapphire, you get fruity, fruity, fruity. It is quite fruity, super fruity. If you don't like fruity perfumes, stay away from this one. This is a fruity floral perfume. So after the initial burst of fruity sweetness, then you come to the florals. The florals, you have roses. You can easily smell roses and jasmine in here. Then after a while, like I said, you catch the musk and the amber. So basically, it's like a typical ladies perfume. It leans a lot feminine than it leans masculine. I mean, come on, it comes in a pretty purple packaging. I'm not sexist or anything, but it's a ladies perfume. Not to say guys can't wear it too. I mean, if that's what you're into, why not? You can wear it too. And what I love about this scent is that it is not the same um, smell that you get in the initial spray that you get subsequently. It keeps on evolving over time. Like if you smell it in the first one hour, it's a different thing you smell in the second hour. It's not a linear perfume. It's a developing perfume. It changes DNA. Like when you smell something in the initial spray, it's not the exact same thing that you're going to smell again in the second, the third, the third hour after you sprayed it. Like it is magic. Like it is one of those magical perfumes that you don't get the same thing all through the length of the perfume. 
different smell in the initial spray, different smell in the middle, different spray, different smell in the dry down. Like it just develops on your skin, it develops on clothes too. And it lasts for a good while. The normal eight hour mark, it does that eight hour mark on your skin. My skin does seem to suck in perfume, but at least I can count on this having about eight hours maximum anyway maximum of any way of eight hours on my skin anyway then on clothes you get 24 hours conveniently 24 hours i don't think you get more than that it's a fruity sweet perfume and most of the fruity sweet perfumes that i have don't tend to last too long like they don't last hours and hours and hours only a few of them do that and this is not one of those perfumes that lasts hours and hours once you spray it you get your initial six to eight hours on your skin before it turns into skin scent on your clothes you get your 24 hours you're good anything after that you have to respray okay you can typically wear this almost to anywhere because it is light enough to wear on a date out and when you go more than five sprays it is heavy enough to wear on a night out so it just depends on what you want it's a pretty versatile perfume you can you can decide to go light maybe one or two sprays just to smell it used to be fruity you can decide to go heavy it's a typical perfume that you can use for layering like it's a perfume that you can use to layer on thicker deeper scents if you layer this it pretty much goes well with almost anything and you know as a perfume enthusiast as a frag head you need to have perfumes like this that you can just you know spray on top to make all your perfume combinations you know blend and stay so it's actually very good i would recommend i'd recommend if you've been thinking of buying it i will say it's worth it but keep in mind that like i said it's a fruity floral perfume if you're not into typical sweet fruity floral ladies perfume you may not like this okay you may not like this it's musky it's fruity it's ambery it's sweet very very sweet it's a sweet like you can almost taste the sugar in here it's super sweet so if you don't like sweet perfumes my sisters my brother stay away but if you do like sweet perfumes and you're into that kind of thing yeah <laughs> you would love this you would really really enjoy it i mean it is addicting and it is light enough to wear anywhere it is light enough to wear anywhere it is heavy enough when you want to lay on some thick layer of sexiness look at that uh -uh. it's easy <laughs> so guys that was the review of this particular perfume if there's anything else you'd like to know about violet sapphire from fragrance world please type it down in the comment section and i'll do well to get back to you as soon as i can and answer your questions and if you enjoyed the video do all that good stuff i mean like the video subscribe to my channel click on the bell notification button share my video comment all that good stuff watch more of my videos i mean why not <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching i love you and until next time Ciao!